Hi, I'm Sam Bowden and this is Lighting Insights. I'm going to talk a little bit about Artnet. Artnet's been around for a long time, but nowadays we're seeing some different applications used for it than we used to see, particularly different types of Artnet, including broadcast and unicast. When Artnet first came about, we just had lighting fixtures. They didn't require a lot of data to go into them, so generally we weren't tending to use masses and masses of universes. For this type of Artnet, we used something called broadcast. It was the first type of Artnet that came around. Broadcast just sent all the information to every single IP address. But as we've seen as technology's gone on and we've started to end up with lighting fixtures that run pixel mapping, we're starting to see more and more universes getting swollen up by these fixtures. This is starting to cause some problems and this is causing latency in the networks because there's so much information going into these fixtures that they can't necessarily handle everything in one go. This starts to represent itself as being jumps in video or a lack of data or a lack of smoothness as the video is running. It's becoming something of an issue. So the other type of Artnet that we see is called Unicast. Unicast works in a slightly different way to broadcast, but is still essentially sending DMX over RJ45 cable. The difference is, with Unicast, it only sends the relevant information to the relevant IP address. This means that in theory, you could set all of your DMX units to address one, and the information would only go to the unit in question. The good thing about this is that the packet sizes are a lot smaller, so it means that the data transference is a lot better and you end up with a lot less latency in your network and therefore many less problems. Everything runs a lot smoother. So with this in mind, we're starting to see the development of different types of protocol for video fixtures. A good example of this is TalkBack protocol. A TalkBack protocol is able to send a registration message to the product in the network and the product will then send its IP address back along with product information. A good example of this is Klingnet. The way Klingnet works is to register all products on the network and they come in as themselves. So you can literally click the product name, drag it onto your mapper and drop. We can easily then send video to it into the map. This means that the data transference is a lot faster, the packet size is a lot smaller and there's a lot less problems with latency. We can then add more and more fixtures onto the network with no real problems. That was just a brief introduction to the two different types of Artnet. And if you're ever having a problem with your Artnet network, do check which type of Artnet is being sent over it. That wraps up this edition of Lighting Insights. For more information, please go to the Chauvet Professional website.